Hi! So this time, we're going to discuss parallel circuit. So basically, all components are connected between the same two sets of electrical common points creating multiple paths for the current to flow from one end of the battery to another. So basically, the parallel circuits will have multiple wirings. Now, again, I will demonstrate to you parallel circuit using a Tinkercad as our simulator. Okay, now again, we need to have our power source. We will still use 9 volts battery. And then, we need to have one resistor here. However, the resistor should be changed into value. So basically, what we're going to use right now is um, just 1 or 250 ohm. Okay, 250 ohm resistor. Okay, there you go. Now, since we use already or we already distinguish what will be the resistance value of our resistor, we need to drop three LED light bulbs. Okay? Now, using the three LED light bulbs, we need to change it so that we can know if all three light bulbs are connected to each other using parallel circuit. So, I will use red. I will use or I will change this to green. Oh, sorry. Here, change to green. And then I will change this to yellow. Okay, so I have already three LED light bulbs. Now, for me to be able to simulate this, so I'll rotate my 9 volts battery. So rotate or press R. And then I will also rotate my resistor. Okay, so the resistor here will be rotated horizontally. Okay. Now, no need to worry if your Terminal 2 is here, your Terminal 1 is here. Um, no need to worry about that. Both termi terminals are working perfectly. So, let me align it this way. Okay. Now, the big idea here is make all um, LED light bulbs on. So, let's start. From my positive port, I need to connect it here to my Terminal 2. So, drag a wire and then right click so that it will bend right click again and then straight to terminal 2 okay the next one is terminal 1 should be connected to the anode part of the first led light so connect it here and then connect to the anode part now so basically we don't need um since it is a parallel circuit we need to connect a connection or um, a circuit coming from the anode part of the LED going to the anode part of the second LED light bulb. Same goes with this. So we're just going to click another wire, anode part, and then connect again to the anode of the third light bulb. So basically, connect terminal 1 to LED um, anode LED 1 then LED anode 1 connect to LED anode LED number 2 and then connect it to LED number 2 so multiple connections so same goes with cathode okay right click and then connect it here to the cathode of the LED number 2 then can click another connection okay click another connection here there you go Make sure that um, you will see the red and the black box so that you can create another connection. Right click here, connect to the cathode part of the first LED and then take a look. There you go. The box with black and red or the box with color black and red. So click it, then right, connect it to the negative port. So of course, um, you will not be able to see the connection, so we will change the colors of the wire. So, red for the positive connector. And then this one, let's retain it to green. However, the connection from anode LED light bulb to anode LED light bulb 2 will change it to color blue. Okay? Same goes with this. Let's change it to color blue. There you go. 
So for this connection, let's change it to color um, orange. Same goes with this, color orange. And then let's have um, a color black here since it needs to move to the negative port already. Now, let's try to simulate. So the main idea here is to make our LED light bulb on. Start. Okay, there you go. So all the LED lights are already on. Now, okay, for your challenge, for your activity, you need to create three more LED light bulbs to create a parallel circuit. 